So I'm involved in the Sir Janoon Committee this year. So we're a group of fourth year students and we'll be jetting off to Ghana, Tanzania, Malawi and uh, Zambia next summer. So that's, that's a class thing about UCC and it's probably one of the best overseas electives that any of the Irish med schools have. So like every year we try and raise 100,000 euro in the, the nine months preceding it. So like it's a, it's a great social outlet, you know, you're out with your whole class for the nine months before and then you spend four weeks in a hospital in Africa and it's like real hands-on experience and again you feel like you're making a difference and you, you know that from talking to people who've gone before you, they might have gone last year or people who've gone 20 years ago and you still like their eyes kind of still light up like when they hear, oh you're doing Sergeant Noonan as well. So it's kind of a great, it's almost like a little family in Cork and Munster, like it's a nice kind of community thing and it's been going now 30, it'll be the 38th year of it. So like there's a great history and a great link kind of between Cork and between those countries in Africa. So it'll be great to, um, I suppose, have the clinical experience out there and then still keep this cool tradition going. I had a fantastic summer, it was unbelievable. Um, it started off um, on the 26th of May when myself and six of my friends flew to um, Istanbul for four days holiday. And then from Istanbul, we flew to Tanzania and we spent uh, seven weeks in Tanzania in total. Um, so I suppose to go back to the start of how we ended up there, um, I was the secretary of Surgeon Noonan Society last year, um, or a UCC-based charity. Um, we're made up entirely of medical students and we fundraise throughout the year um, by doing flag days where we go out on the streets with buckets, um, we go um, out at jazz weekend and go to pubs and collect money, um, we arrange bake sales and concerts and lots of different things um, and we raise money and then we bring it out with us to um, different hospitals in four African countries. So um, I went to Tanzania and we brought um, over 20,000 euro to our hospital and overall we brought 114,000 euro um, to the 10 African hospitals. So it was, a, it was a great achievement and we were really excited heading over. Um, we had loads of luggage because we were trying to bring medical supplies with us as well. It was very different when we arrived to, in the hospitals. Um, they were very remote and they had nothing, absolutely nothing. The facilities were really non-existent um, not much in the way of anaesthetics, so people were um, you know, not being well looked after when they were being put to sleep for surgeries. Um, we saw things that you just wouldn't see here because we can treat things before they get to an advanced stage, whereas um, in those countries where they don't have the money for antibiotics and things we take for granted here, um, diseases just get worse and worse. Um, so it was, um, it was a, I suppose it's a cliche, but it was a life-changing experience and it was, um, it was amazing. Um, we learned a lot. Um, we met some fantastic people. Um, we were with nuns in the hospital where we were and those women were just the strongest, most intelligent, uh, bravest women I think I've ever met. The, what they do with what little they have uh, was just beyond belief. Um, so those four weeks were amazing but really tough and tiring. Um, so after that we decided to climb Mount Kilimanjaro because we weren't tired enough as it was. Um, so that was I suppose a different kind of strength uh, which I did not possess so I was not fit at all. But 20 of us um, climbed the mountain and we, we all did it and we were delighted. And um, There's pictures of lots of very, very exhausted but happy medical students at the top of Kilimanjaro. As the sun rises you get to the top. So that was fantastic. And then we went on safari, which was in the Serengeti, which was a dream of mine since oh, forever. You know, you've always wanted to go on safari. And as great as Photo Wildlife Park is, I think the Serengeti definitely beat it. So that was an amazing time. And we finished off by going to Zanzibar, which is just paradise on earth, really.